not metals and not non metals but chemical effects of electric current who told you we will start metals and non metals I thought we were going to start that one. okay first we talk about efficiency okay so it is the output power upon input power out. into 100 okay so That's this is efficiency is. that how much output power we get out of input power the power it is getting and when we are talking about particular value of efficiency we always talk in terms of percentage, into percentage. so we multiplied we multiplied this thing as 100 percent okay so the efficiency efficiency of solar plates is range 15 around to uh, 20 percent so range around 15 to 22 percent okay so can you tell me one thing that is, is this efficiency low or high ashwat you wait let others answer okay tell me is this efficiency low or high Okay, guys, reply. At least say something that did you understood what I'm saying or not? I'm asking is this efficiency low or high? Low, yes, Shesta. Low. Say low. Okay, low. Okay, uh -huh. very good. Sir. sir, it's low, but it, uh, sir, it's uh, kind of high, but it can decrease over time, right? Yeah, yes, it depends on the like the weather conditions or the amount of sunlight it uh, there is. Okay, the amount of sunlight available. It depends on that. There are many factors which can uh, like affect the output power. But right now we are talking about efficiency only. So what does this efficiency means? Like the sunlight is coming. Okay, let's say the sunlight is coming as hundred watt. Okay. You know about power, right? You have you seen the hundred watt bulb? Yes, sir. Let me show you if I get an image of hundred watt bulb. Sir, one watt is like one volt, right, sir? No, no, one watt is not equal to one volt, but what is unit of power? One volt is unit of what? Like what I'm asking, what? the power power is one watt okay and where is one volt is potential or in terms of in terms of battery and the cells we talk we say voltage okay so power and voltage these are two different things so Sir, what is yes. potential? Sir, I always have a doubt in voltage, uh, ampere, uh, like, and uh, watts. Okay. So first thing we will see what uh, explain about the model. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, have you seen an electrical circuit? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so tell me what is this? Electric cell. Bad. Electric cell. Okay, we can call this many names. We can uh, like so start. Is... Oh, what is this? Cell. 
cell so battery, battery. The collection of cells. Battery, battery is the collection of cells. Four lines. Battery is having four lines. Yes, sir. Uh, it's a collection of cells, right, sir? Like two or more cells. Yes, we can say that collection okay. of cells. But this sign we represent in a circuit. That means we have a power source. Okay. okay. Bas basically, we have a power source. So that power source can be a battery. That power source can be a cell. Okay. So we use different different names. Either that either this circuit can be a cell or battery. So can you tell me what thing does it supply? Okay. What energy that does Electrical it supply? Electrical energy. Electron. Okay. It supply electron. So what is the this big bigger plate? Can you tell me? Positive, uh, positive terminal. terminal. Positive terminal. So it is positive terminal. This is positive terminal and lower one is negative terminal. So where does electron emit? From positive. Like, positive to negative. No. The current always go from positive negative. to negative, but electron electrical currents are uh, the electrons are always emitted from the negative, negative terminal okay these this way the electrons travel get it that the electrons travel always out of negative plate and it goes towards the positive plate now can you tell me the what is the direction of the electrical current Positive to negative. Positive to negative. So that is the I current. I understand why. Like yes, I, yeah, I will tell you. I will tell you. This way. So do electrons actually move or, or do they push each other? No, electrons always move. Why we move? Because let, let's say there is a negative plate. There is a positive plate. What does this negative positive means? That the negative plate has a many negative charges it has a many negative charges and this has many positive charges okay so we what we took a plate and that plate has a spread of many positive charges on its surface so that's so, why as a whole hmm? So more the difference between uh, the positive and negative, the more the voltage is. Is it? Yes, correct. Okay. More the so difference. Can repeat again, sir. So I'm telling is that we, right now I'm saying two plates. One is negative plate and other is positive plate. So what does this negative and positive means? That a plate, let's say you are taking a neutral plate. That new, what does this neutral mean? that there is no charge okay you are taking just a neutral plate and you put many many negative charges on that plate okay you put let's say thousand charges thousand negative charges okay give me example of negative charge electron electron very good so you put thousand electron on this neutral plate and this electron gets spread on the whole of the surface so as a whole can you tell me what is the charge of this plate now? Negative. Negative. Okay. Very good. So this is a negative plate. Now I do the same procedure for the positive plate. I take a neutral plate and I put positive charges on it. Can you give me example of positive charges? So like protons, but we yeah, can keep protons. protons. It is the lack of electrons which makes this positive terminal a positive terminal. Correct. Lack of electrons also make, and we can say that protons also. Okay. okay. So, so but the, can, we can't add protons, right? Can we add protons? Like, we cannot add uh, proton. Correct. That's correct. So when there is a lack of electron, then only we develop positive charges. So in the practical life, we can't uh, like we uh, only use the principle of the lack of electrons. Is it so? No, no. We, we we practically we can generate protons also. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that you will encounter when you can go in higher studies that uh, in some experiment they are able to generate positive charges the protons also what you are saying the deficiency is that let's say there is a chlorine uh, chlorine and out of chlorine we take out one electron 
so that chlorine becomes positive okay or no let's not take chlorine but it is electronegative element so we take sodium out of sodium one electron goes out so it becomes positive so that means this as a whole is a positive right so let's not go in more technicality right now i am just saying that i am taking a plate which has many positive charges okay you can assume because generally we what we have positive and negative electron and proton so you can assume that there are many protons on this plate okay so okay. i took a neutral plate which has many 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 positive charges so can you tell me what is the whole charge of this plate the positive positive so i put a wire in between these with this wire has many many electrons on it okay this wire yes. wire has electron 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 it mean that the wire is negatively charged or does it have free electrons no not uh electrically uh, not electrically charged do you know okay. the concept of conductors what sir yeah i know uh, sir yes, sir correct so i will explain what are conductors and these their mechanism right now just like kartik said so we will say that there are free electrons what does this free electron mean that there are some outermost Val shell yes valence electrons i mean uh, the yes. electromagnetic force on the electrons is weaker mm -hmm. so the there are some elements which has outermost electron very far from the nucleus so that way that the the outermost electron experience very less attractive force with the nucleus so it is kind of like he uh, kartik said the valence electron so these valence electron which are the electrons present in the outermost shell they are kind of free why we are calling it free because it does not have uh, the attractive force with the nucleus okay very less very less force so i am taking these as free electrons like they are at the outermost shell and now i have applied two plates positive and negative can you tell me where will these electrons go where will these move positive uh, terminal of the plate positive terminal very good so can you tell okay. me okay uh, so, so i am asking negative uh, will go uh, like electrons will go to the positive terminal positive correct so this wire has many many electrons present so this electrons will go towards positive ter terminal positive plate okay we are talking about these plates these are plates so can you tell me why these electrons will go towards the positive plate make a uh, uh, neutral equilibrium electrical equilibrium okay electrical okay. equilibrium anyone else uh -huh. negative charges are attracted towards positive charges correct so positive and negative charges always attract each other these always attract each other and can you tell me when there are two positive charges what will happen they will not attract they repel so they will repel okay when you place two positive charges close to each other they will repel they will move they will apply, apply force towards away well, why can the charges from the positive terminal go to the negative plate why does like why can't energy pass from the positive terminal to the negative energy is different thing right now we are talking about the movement of charges movement of electron okay so right now we are concerned with the movement of electrons that why it is going towards positive why it is not going towards negative okay so you understood that when yes. we put two positive charges close then it will repel they will force they will apply force away from each other now let's say i have put two negative charges close to each other what will happen will they attract or repel 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 okay 
So that means the charges of same sign always repel each other, whereas charges of different sign attract each other. So same is the mechanism here. When I apply a negative plate and a positive plate, and there are electrons in between these two plates, so what will happen? These electrons will always try to move towards the positive plates. Okay, so this electron will move towards the positive plate because electron and uh, the negative and positive positive charges always attract each other. Whereas this negative, negative, and these electrons are also negative, so they will try to repel. So what will this plate will do? This plate will apply a force, a push. Okay, this plate will push this electron towards this side, and this positive plate will attract. Okay, this will pull. This will pull these electrons towards itself. Okay, so this is how electrons move. Okay, Karthik, your question was that how these electrons are moving. So actually, there is a positive terminal and negative terminal. When we apply a positive terminal, uh, positive plate and a negative plate, then there always appear a potential. Okay, understand this. When I put two plates, one positive, one negative. So there is always have potential. What does this potential means? That the electron will move towards positive plate. Okay. So this this tendency, this tendency we always say potential. That when I apply two plates of different charge, so the electron will move towards the positive plate. So this is potential. Let's say I have applied a potential of 10 volt. So the potential is always represented by volt, V-O-L-T. Volts, we say volts when we have larger numbers. And for the sign, we just say V. So this potential, let's say I have taken 10 volt. And let's say you have 100 electrons present in between this, this space. So can you tell me almost how many electrons will these positive plate will be able to attract? 100. Not necessarily 100. Yeah, many to 100. Okay, let's take... Sir, how can uh, we calculate like that? We cannot calculate. Exactly. We cannot calculate how many it can attract, but we can take a rough idea. So I am taking a small value. Okay. So in terms of potential, this 10 volt is a small value. Okay. It is a small value. Let me put another value also. Let's say 2 volt and a 100 volt. So I am taking these three values. Okay. So among these three values, the 10 volt is very small. So I can take a rough guess that it will be able to attract like 20 electron. Okay. I am just taking a guess because I am take I am like uh, trying to explain you that how this volt the change of value of this volt affect the attraction of these electron so let's say i have taking 20 volt potential so let's say it is attracting more than more than 20 electrons 50 electron let's say and if i apply 100 volt it will attract all of the 100 electron okay so let me say it again so do not go for these value. I am just comparing. Okay. I am comparing that what is the difference between 10 volt, 20 volt, 100 volt. Okay. So if you have low potential, this volt is potential. This value what I am writing is potential. So if you have low potential, then it will be able to attract less number of electrons towards it. Okay. Did you get it? So, so if yes. you have low potential, it will attract low number of electrons. If you have high potential, let's say 100 volt, so it will be able to attract many number of electrons, more than this, the amount which was attracted by 10 volt. So it will, it will attract high number of electrons. So this is the significance of the value of potential. That if you have more potential, it will attract more number of electrons. It will apply high energy to attract these electrons. If you have less potential, 
then it won't be able to attract all of the electrons, but it will attract some, but small quantity of these electrons. Okay, so this is what volt means. Volt. We say volt, we say voltage also. Okay. Fine. So, I here, we understood that what volt is. Okay. So, the voltage is the voltage is the amount of energy of, uh, yes tendency attractive. or the amount of energy present between these two plates with which it is able to move these electrons between these two plates so i have answered you one question that how these electrons are moving these electrons are not moving on on its own when you apply potential so now do you do you uh, understand what does this potential mean when i say yeah. that there is a potential there so what do you understand by that? There is some uh, energy applied for the uh, electron or particle to move. Exactly. So there is some energy. And this energy is applied by some plates. You can say plates or you can say some charge. Okay. How this is energy, this energy is coming? That there somewhere, let's say, close to it or far from it. There is some charge, positive charge or negative charge that is either attracting it or repelling it okay so whenever i say that there is a potential that means the there is attraction or repulsion going on okay so how these electrons are moving these electrons are either attracted by something or these uh, electrons are repelled by something so when these are attracted or repelled these electrons will move to the path in which they are not restricted okay if they are provided one wire if this is a wire, so the electrons will move along this wire. Okay, when we apply potential, because this is the only path available, these electrons cannot go out of wire. Okay, right? Let's say you are given a road which is covered from right and left, so you will always move to in the road. Okay, these let's say uh, from to right and left of these road, there is a con concrete wall. So thick wall that you cannot pen penetrate towards it. If you crash also, you will stay inside. You cannot go outside. So that is the condition for these electrons. When you when there is a wire and they, you apply potential, these electrons will always move inside this wire. They can never go outside the, this wire. Okay. So this is how electrons move. So I have answered you one question that how these electrons are moving. These electrons are not moving on its own. Sir, can we say when that potential is type of force? Potential is a type of force. Correct. Potential is a type of force which is which is which uh, is forcing which is forcing these electrons to move. Okay. Okay. Fine. So we know about potential. Volt. Volt is. Volt is unit. Of potential okay same way there is ampere so ampere is related to current so right now I was telling that let's say this is a wire and this electrons are moving in this direction so can you tell me the direction of the current so from right to left from right to left correct yeah but sir can you just explain why like what is current 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 is the flow of electrons ah. whenever whenever ah. there is a flow of electrons there is a current and what is the direction of this current? So the direction... opposite to the flow of electrons. Yes, the direction of this current is towards the flow of positive charges. Or we can say opposite to the flow of negative charges 
sir then what is resistance we will come to it so right now uh, tell me one thing here i have put two plates positive and negative if the electron is moving towards left where will the uh, the positive positive let's say proton where will the proton will move from to, the uh, to right to right so the positive charge will move towards right okay so that means the direction of these two are complementary if an electron is moving towards the left the positive will move towards the right okay and the direction of current is always the direction of the positive charges that means if electrons are moving to the right that current will move to the left so so is it because of uh, uh, proton uh, positive charges or like uh, negative charges uh, the bulb is glowing yes it is due to the this movement you cannot say uh, alone but let's say if, if you have stationary if these two electrons are stationary it cannot glow any bulb okay. but if these electrons are moving and in that case then these will these will uh, provide us the uh, glow of the bulb okay. Sir, so whenever we can say that the flow of electrons is current right we have to say that the flow of protons is current because current is related to the protons right okay so as you know the mass of proton and electron can you tell me the mass of electron don't google it but if you know then only tell so mass of electron is 10 9.1 into 10 power minus 31 kg can you imagine how much is this very small sir very small this is very small 10 to the power minus 31 that goes very 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 negligible where is mass of proton it is thousand times this 9.1 into 10 to power minus 31 kg so, so it's so, 9.1 into 10 to the power uh, minus 28 um, so, so yeah 28 that, that that you calculate for your understanding but right now i'm telling that it is thousand multiplied by 9.1 into 10 to power minus 31 so what does this information tell you proton is heavier than electron exactly so proton is thousand times heavier than electron so can you imagine if the proton is this much heavier can it be a hey, breaking. this proton will not be able to move so freely okay yes. so this proton this will not be able to move so easily as compared to electrons since the mass of electron is very small it will be able to move very freely okay so you understood this concept that the protons are mm -hmm. very heavy yes right sir but um sir what is the highest number of electrons highest number of electrons can be infinity okay sir Sir, because when we use chemical reactions, um, mm -hmm. we only use uh, 2 to 8, right? Between 1 to 8. We use? Sir, like the teacher told us that uh, uh, during chemical reactions, we use electrons from 1 to 8 only. 1 to 8? Yes, sir. Like that's what we wrote as notes in the book. No, that you cannot say something as 1 to 8. There must be some unit attached to it. Either it could be 1 to 8 mole. Okay. So or I'm something else. I think I'm a bit confused. Could you explain it once again? Okay. Uh, which part you are confused? Uh, can you tell me? So the... Um... Sir, uh, okay, we... you are asking the yes, how much electrons. Okay, so I told you that electron, the mass of electron is 9.1 into 10 power minus 31. So when you say that you have a square shaped box, yes, sir. Okay, when you have a square shaped box, 
and you want to know that how many electrons are there. Yes, sir. Okay. So you always deal the de deal these kind of thing as in terms of mole. Okay. When I say that there are one mole of electrons in this box, what does the, that mean? That there are 6.023 into 10 power 23 electrons. Yes, sir. Okay. Do you know what uh, the one mole is? The one mole? Uh, have you heard about one mole? No, sir. Okay, you haven't heard about mole. Sir, the teacher never mentioned it while she was teaching us a chapter. Mm -hmm. I got it, I got it. Your teacher is very much experienced than I am, okay? Yes, so, sir. I tell you, tell you this thing, like, the, the teacher is teaching 8th class, 7th class for so many years. This is the first, first time I am teaching 8th class. So, right, that's why I, uh, sometimes I get confused that, do you know these terms or not? That's why I keep on asking you that, do you know mole or not? Okay, so your teacher is experienced, very much experienced than me. So, she knows how much you know, how much is your understanding, and how much you can get if she says any word. Okay, so you don't know about mole. So, don't worry. Mm, I won't use mole. I will say that I will say that if you want to know that there are how many number of electrons are there in a box, you always say in terms of a value. Let's say I took a value 6 into 10 power 23. Okay. So this is a very small number. Okay. Yes, don't sir. take it as don't take it as that this uh, box uh, like sir, this uh, box. Can I got you see it? confused. Uh, the teacher made us draw a diagram, so I thought it was that. So I got confused. No, no. Yes, you cannot say about like like there are eight electrons or one electron. Never. Eight electron are nothing. Negligible. Sir, like he he is saying maybe like uh in some solutions there are like SO four uh and then to the like on the top it will be like uh, SO four like minus two or something. Okay, like, SO four minus two. Like so this. Maybe he's telling minus two is the number of electrons. No, 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 no. Uh, okay, so these are two different things. If you talk about this compound, so in compound, when uh, you say that there is minus two, that means this compound is lacking two electrons. Okay, this compound itself is very small. Okay, but when you say that you want to know that there are, you take a very small box. Okay, any box you can hold between your two fingers. You take a small box and you want to know that how many electrons are there. Then that electrons are more than 10 to the power 23. Fine. So these are two different things. Got it? Yes, sir. Okay, right? Yes, sir. Understood. It's clarified. I got a bit confused. Okay, no, yes, no worries. No okay. Uh, we dealt with the motion of the these. And so you are telling now, what is ampere? Okay, yes, I was telling ampere, correct. So, like I told, volt, ampere, ampere is a unit of current. Okay. So you to ask me that why we are taking the direction of uh, these why uh, that like you said that uh, why we say that the motion of electron is current why not protons so i told you like i explained that the mass of protons is very very heavy compared to electrons so ma protons cannot move from one position to other position so easily okay mm, just wait a second
वेट ए सेकेंड ओके हेलो सर यस ओ सर आई थॉट यू वन स्पीकिंग सो दैट्स व्हाट सर कैन यू जस्ट स्क्रोल अप अ बिट आई एम जस्ट राइटिंग डाउन द नोट्स नाउ कैन यू सी यस सर it a little bit small okay so why we say that uh, so we come to the that point that the protons are very heavy so we always consider the moment of electrons as uh, the moment of we always Use electrons as the uh, the quantity which we need to. Okay. Correct. So we always take electron as the carriers of current. Whenever there is a motion of electrons in some direction. the current is always to the opposite of this direction if this electron is moving from left to right this current will move from right to left okay we why we are taking electron because the protons are very heavy it cannot move but since electrons are moving from left to right that means the direction the direction of the positive charges will always from right to left so we take the direction as that of current do you understood yes sir i hope that i haven't confused you more no sir okay so then what is resistance okay resistance is um, let's say you are moving in your cycle sir is it you the opposite I force uh, that is uh, pushing sir, I got, uh, us back is air resistance sir yes kartik uh yeah the electrons are hold up in the uh, shells of the atoms because of the electromagnetic force right mm -hmm, correct uh, so when they are moving to the conductor the nucleus of the atom the nuclei of the atoms are uh, attracting the electrons mm -hmm. but um, the uh, a uh, positive charge on the other side is more uh, so the electrons are going on that side and the resistance offered Correct. by these nuclei is the resistance we are talking about is it that also uh, yes the resistance offered by these nuclei also let me explain what i was explaining here let's say you are going on a cycle and the, uh, so you are going on a cycle on a clear road okay and there are some breakers some the breakers some pit holes on the road okay and some other stones or something are there on a road so technically this road is very bad and it has pit holes it has breakers okay and i need 
let's say Harshit. Harshit is driving this cycle and Harshit need to go very fast. So can you tell me, Harshit, will you be able to go fast on this road? No, sir. No, why? Because of the loss of friction. Oh, yes. Because of obstruction due to these. Okay. These, yeah. these yeah. are restricting your motion. Okay. So these obstacles are restrict, restricting, uh, sorry, restricting your motion. So this is resi resistance. They are up, up, applying a resistance to your motion. Okay. So this is resistance. That you want to move on this road, but due to the obstacles on this road, you cannot move very swiftly. Okay. So instead of this road, I take a road which is very good quality. Uh, this road is very good. Very good. Uh, good concrete is there on this road and it is clear. Nothing. No pit holes, no breaker, no stones or anything. It is very clear. So you will be able to move very fast. Okay. So this road, the road in the red color offered no resistance. No resistance. Whereas road in the black, this road, this is providing high resistance. Sir, but it is very, it is almost impossible to have no resistance, right, sir? Like, not impossible, sir. Because even in the nice road also, there is air resistance, right? Okay. We are understanding concept only. We are not going in that much detail that it is no zero or anything. Right now, we need to understand what is resistance. So, uh, all of you guys, did you understood what are low uh, resistance? Yes, sir. Okay. Anything which hinder your uh, movement, anything which hinder your movement is resistance. Karthik, did you get it? What is resistance? Sir, let Yes, sir. Others, Purujit, did you get it? What is resistance? Sir, why is Purujit? The... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wait, wait, Ashwit. Wait. So, this is one thing you ask, I will tell you, and then only you can ask doubt. Okay. Otherwise, uh, we won't be able to move. Okay. So, I will tell you that this concept is over, and then you can ask me doubt. Fine. Don't ask in between. Fine. Purjit, did you understood what is resistance? Yes, sir. Okay. Can you tell me what is resistance? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Resistance is uh, is uh, like uh, what is the uh, like the, so it's, okay. It's the stop, See like it's it's like the stop of the current. Like the, the photon, like. Okay, wait. Now, see here, Purjit. Okay. So, I am taking, you are moving in. Uh, which which school uh, are you studying, Purjit? GLS, sir. Uh, which V? What? Uh, what uh, which school have you said? GLS. GLS. Is this correct? Yes. Have, sir. have I written correct? Yes, sir. Okay, what is full form of G GLS? Global in uh, Gems Legacy School. Gems Legacy School. Okay, very good. Very good school. So, uh, how many classrooms does this school have? Uh, maybe like 50 classrooms. 50 classrooms, okay. So when there, let's say, you want to go washroom in between the class, okay? And the teacher has allowed you that you can go. And you move out of your class and you go to the washroom, okay? This is one scenario. Did you understood the, this first scenario? 
Yes or no? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Now I'm taking second scenario. Is like the bell has rung and all of you are free to go home. But now also you want to go washroom. Okay. The 50 <laughs> classroom, the students of all these 50 classroom have come out and you need to go to the washroom, which is like, let's say somewhere far, far from your classroom. Yes, so tell me, will you be able to go to the washroom easily or you have to put some effort, like you have to make a way through these children? Yes, sir. So we have to make like, uh, so like the particles are like, so to go against the particles, the resistance, yeah. Resistance, very good. So this is resistance, that there is something present in your way, in your path. Something is present in your path, which is obstructing your motion. You want to go, but this is, there is the particles are obstructing your motion. You cannot go easily. So this is resistance. Resistance. Okay, sir. Okay, Pujit, tell me in which the, let's say the scenario number one, does uh, does this first scenario have low resistance or high resistance? Does high resistance? No, for first scenario in which there you are going alone to the washroom. Uh, low resistance because there are no okay. students. No right. students. Okay. The second scenario does it have low resistance or high resistance? Uh, high resistance. Very good. Now, uh, okay, Sister has left. Okay. Fine. Um, Karthik, you were asking me something about this resistance. Okay, you were asking the resistance in, in uh, respect of the nucleus. So the nucleus yeah. is also the applying the resistance. Force. Yes, it is, it is applying electromagnetic force. Now tell me, is there only one nucleus present or is there many oh, nucleus present so many in that one? So, so many. many. So, okay. So everyone will apply, try to apply some electromagnetic force, right? Yes. Sir. Or there are many electrons present in that area, so that means there is there will be resistance also, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. So these are some factors due to which you feel resistance in a wire. The electrons will feel resistance in a wire. Okay. Okay. Sir. Okay. So let's finish this fast, fast, fast. Uh, so. You are confused within volt ampere. So ampere is the unit of current. Did you understood what is current and how the uh, the motion of electrons lead to current? Yes, ampere is uh, the flow of uh, current uh, at a specific part in a unit time. You you can say the we always say current in terms of ampere. It is oh. the value. Okay. okay sir. So let's say you are saying that two. You you are given two ampere current. So you, you never say that two current is moving. You always say two ampere current is moving. So this is the unit. Likewise, if you are uh, if someone asks you what is your height, you never say that my height is six. You always say six foot. Okay. So this unit is necessary. This unit is telling that what is this six? Six can be six kg. 6 can be 6 liter, 6 can be 6 meter also, okay? 6 can be 6 centimeters. 6 centimeter also. So that's why unit is necessary. Rightwise, the current has unit which is ampere. So similarly, there is power. If you see a glow on a bulb, so that bulb has some power due to which it is glowing. So this glow is giving us power which is in the unit of watt. So you cannot say that this blow, this uh, bulb is giving two power. Okay. What is two power? Two can be two, put, two volt be also. Two can be two ampere also. Okay, it can be anything. But if you say two watt, that means it is giving out two watt power. It is giving two watt power. Okay. Okay, so 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 you take out uh, some standard units. Okay, Google it. Google search for standard units and read it once. Okay, so you will get what 
there uh, what kind of units there are and what these units are used for like unit for current is ampere unit for potential is volt okay unit of charge is coulomb unit of power is what unit of energy is joules unit of energy is joules okay Likewise. now tell me do you guys have any doubt no sir no sir okay no. others ashwath harshad purjit any doubt sir uh, sir like energy or uh, resistance is like obstructing the flow of electrons right sir resistance like ob obstructs resistance the resistance is of Obstructing Obstruct the flow of the flow electrons. Of electrons. Yes. So only less number of electrons can be passed through. Can pass through, right, sir? Yes. Like so. If, is it like if uh, resist resistance is high? If resistance is high, the flow is low. Okay. Understood so, now. So, so for example, there are like a uh, hundred electron electrons, sir. So if the resistance hmm. like there is a resistance, so only less like twenty electrons can pass through. Sir, is Correct. it like the um only like this number of electrons can pass, or like is it like a like this like electric current uh you the flow of electric okay, current uh, is low something. Flow of electric current is low. Okay. So if if something has high resistance, that means the flow of electric current is low. If something sir, has so low, mm -hmm. the electrons carrying electricity, like due to the uh, resistance, this energy is released, right, sir? Like energy re released. Like what? like uh, for example, like there is some el electricity, sir. Like uh, electricity is passing in the circuit because of the resistance. This uh. It's obstructing the resistance is obstructing that flow. So because that uh, electrons are remained in the same position. Not same position. It will never remain in same position and give current. What what is does the current mean? There will be there will be flowing continuously. Flow of flow of electrons. So what. What does this high resistance means? That the there will be low current. What does this low current means? That very few electrons will be able to move through that part. So then, why is heat produced? Why? Due to this, why to why is heat produced? Why is heat produced? Due to this also, like I gave you one scenario of. Uh, Purujit, like Purujit is moving through first scenario in which Purujit was moving alone and second scenario if Purujit is moving through these many number of children. So let's say you want to go to the washroom very quickly. You you have very high emergency that every second counts. If you want to be able to reach to the washroom, you will do it in the way only. So you you are in a hurry. You want to go very fast. So in that way, you will collide some student. Okay. You will collide some student and that student will also collide to you. He will push you. Okay. You will collide to some other students. So that way, there is some heat. Okay. Due to that collision, there is some heat. That is the same thing in electrons also. Okay, sir. Okay. Karthik, Purjit, any doubt? No, sir. Okay, fine. Then let's me meet in next class and in the, on Sunday we will have test of light also, light only. Thank you for the class. Bye. Bye bye.